Hey everyone, Morgan Hoffman here. I'm about to go live with Johnny Orlando, who obviously just released his new EP, very exciting. And we're gonna talk about his new, um, his new virtual world tour to help promote his new music so fans actually get to hear his music even though obviously we can't go to concert and, and see him live. So that's really exciting. We're also gonna talk about his holiday plans. I think he just got a Christmas tree. So we'll see if he's all about the Christmas trees. If he decorates it himself. Kind of what movies he likes to watch around the holidays. That'll be fun. So we're just waiting for him to sign in. Oh, he just said hi. Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't know if that's to be request. Just waiting for Johnny Orlando to sign in. Hello? Oh, I got you. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Good. Okay, let me just make sure you can see my head and everything. Perfect. Okay, hey. Um, so, so much I want to talk to you about. First of all, congrats on the new EP. That's exciting to get your you. music out there for the fans. Of course, thank you. It was a it was a process and a half for sure. <laughs> uh, I'm glad it's finally out. Uh, what was what was the whole process about it? Was it you know more challenging than like your first EP, or or what was this whole process like? Absolutely. Um, I mean, definitely. Uh, every EP, I want to like step it up. A oh, sorry. You, I, sorry, uh, you froze for a second. Uh, I want to oh. step it up a little. So, so that was the first challenge, um, just making sure that the quality can be there. Um, and uh, that, that can be pretty stressful. Also, uh, of course, the pandemic uh, pushed it back. It was supposed to be like a late summer type thing, oh. um, but it ended up being like a, a fall type deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear that weird buzzing? Yeah, I, for some reason, I still get DM notifications when I'm on live stream. It's, oh, it's my okay. end. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't on my end so my producer can't yell at me. So no. we're good. Don't worry. You can do I'm anything. Sorry. <laughs> he can, they can yell at me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll send him your email. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about your tour. Obviously, you can't put out, you know, your new music for fans to come and see you live in concert, but you're doing this virtual tour. So tell us what people can expect. Um, well, the virtual tour, uh, I wanted to make it as close to a real tour as possible. I think that's kind of, that's, I'm so sorry. My dogs are going absolutely nuts right now. Just the whole, the whole world is. What kind of dogs is, do you have? Uh, two little Maltese dogs. Bring them up. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to. Bring them up? Okay, wait, hold on. Yay. I love dogs. Madison, <laughs> I'm on a live stream. Please. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. um, I have a lot of siblings, a lot of dogs as well. Um, Good. Where were we? I wanted to make the, the, the live show as close as possible. Um, oh my God, it keeps buzzing. I'm, I'm so sorry. You I'm, I'm so a mess today. Popular. I'm a mess. I crammed for a, a project this morning that was like also this morning. It, it, this is just been a day and a half for me. Um, I want to make the live show as close as possible to a real thing. So we had um, the Danforth rented out for a couple of days and just filmed like for hours and hours and hours. Uh, I had like full band, full lights, uh, sound tech, um, uh, lighting tech, like video, like like literally everything that, that you normally have at a show. Because even though it's it's virtual, I wanted to have some semblance of a real show. Yeah. That's amazing. How has, um, cause obviously this has been going on for a little bit now. It's been going on for a couple of weeks. You're performing tonight or, or fans in Toronto will be able to get to see it too, right? All across Canada? Yeah, of course. Um, so the, the tour is in 13 different countries, kind of, I guess, like virtually 13 different countries. Yeah. Um, but I know like, the main group sold out really fast. So people were kind of jumping all over the world for those. Um, I had a, a bunch of Canadians last night in the, um, uh, Brazilian meet and greet. Yeah. Um, that is so loud. Is it loud? Turn that off. <laughs> I, no, I, I can't. People are just spamming in group chats to try and be on the live now. Uh, Can somebody please tell Addy to stop? Pardon? <laughs> no, I'm just talking to the, the the viewers. I'm so sorry. Is it better if I hold it? A, a little bit, yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, don't worry. Ah, it's not your okay. fault. It's not your fault. I just want to make sure your fans can hear you. Okay, that's all. Of course. Of course. Well, um, and now I've lost my train of thought. It's okay. Honestly, this has been one of the most entertaining.
entertaining into life I've ever done. Well, well thank you. <laughs> okay, so you got to put, you know, this tour together for everyone to see it. So you're saying, so tonight, Canada can see it. Uh, yes, they can. I'm so sorry. People are they're just spamming now. Uh, this is really... It, it got really quieter annoying. on my end. I don't know if it got quieter on your end, but I can't hear it as loud anymore. I can just, I can feel it. I'm holding the phone. I can just feel it in my hand and it's just making me so upset. Oh, um, okay. it's all right. do you want to, okay. It's definitely not as loud, which is actually really nice. So if, if you're good, I have like a couple more questions and then, no, I'm good. Um, I'm good. but it sounds like, it sounds like you're definitely. keeping, oh yeah, no, no, this is much better. Um, it sounds like you've been keeping yourself super busy. Um, you have this, such a devoted fan base, obviously, from all your messages. Um, has social media been able to help you kind of stay positive and, and still be able to connect with your fans during this pandemic? For sure. I, I can't even tell you how many Instagram accounts I follow now that are like, just like wholesome posts and just like nice things. Cause I, I just need it. Like I, sometimes I just like scroll through, um, like humans of New York, uh, is, is a great account. Um, also, IG wholesome. Oh my God. I love it. And I, it just, it makes me so happy. So it's nice to have a little, a little vacation from all the, the terrible things uh, that are happening in the world. Um, yeah. And of course my fans as well. It's, it's great to connect with people um, that, that have my best interests in mind and, and are just so supportive all the time. And that's why uh, these main greets have been so fun for me. Like they're supposed to be like under an hour long. Yeah, but uh, like last night it was like four and a half hours. The day before it was like four. Like it, I just, I just kind of like, I just, I just like moss with people. It's, it's a good time. And what are the meet, meet and greets all about? So people can just, you just come on here. Um. Yeah. So it's basically like, it's kind of like a, a real meet and greet, except of course, computer. Right. Um. And we actually get to talk about more stuff. Like I feel like oh, when. Cool when it's like a, a physical show, uh, instead of 50 people per meet and greet, it's like sometimes 300. So uh, it's it's just um, like a hello, how are you photo? And then uh, the, the whole thing is kind of over in like 30 seconds. Uh, but now I can show people for like three minutes, uh, usually like three, three and a half. Um, and so we can actually have some conversation. We can, people have been telling me about um, like my music and, and just like, uh, the ways that I've helped them, which I, is just the craziest thing ever for me. Because, uh, of course, I have artists that do that for me as well. So to hear yeah. it from, from other people is amazing. That's awesome. Um, you released a cover of Justin Bieber's Lonely, which was so good, by the way, on your Instagram. You. Um, did I did I see that you said it took you two weeks to get the perfect take? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a very hard time settling yeah. <laughs> for things. <laughs> so I just, I, pr I don't even know how many I filmed. I don't want to know, but uh, there's an instrumental on YouTube that I have probably given like, probably like 500 views to them. So you're welcome, whoever you are. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, when you heard this song, did you kind of like connect with it instantly? Was it, why was this one of the songs that you wanted to put a cover up for? Well, it's, it's a beautiful song, uh, yeah. lyrically and melodically. Um, and it obviously means a lot to uh, Mr. Beeb. So uh, it, it's just, even though like, I can't, I can't like really relate with it. Like I, I've never had that level of fame that yeah. he's had. Um, it's, it's still like something that is meaningful to me because it's meaningful to the artist. Yeah. Um, which, which I think, I think is awesome. Uh, so I just wanted to sing it. I also, I just love the Beebs. He's a, I he's know. a great, great musician. Is he, the, is he like a big person you'd love to collaborate with? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. He was my like. Like, even though, like, I, I, I didn't admit it, like, wants to be cool when I was younger, like, he was, like, he's, like, been, like, one of my favorite artists for a really long time. I've always loved him. Oh, I love that. Okay, so what did you think of Justin Bieber and Shawn Mendes and their collaboration together? Oh, my God. Great song. Love yeah, Monster. So good. Yeah, so good. Love it. Um, okay, we need to get you in on this, okay? We need all three of you to do a song together now. Listen, that would be, like, that would be unreal. <laughs> I, I would love that. That's awesome. Um, you know, when it comes to your EP, I said that this was, I, I read that you said this is a bit of a farewell to your childhood. Is that accurate? Of course, yeah. 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 Did you feel that way when you were kind of creating the music or did you kind of look back when your songs were finished and realize that's kind of what the theme was of this EP? No, yeah, it was kind of, it was in retrospect for sure. I was, I think the moment when I realized um, was when 
I, so I had a call with my label um, and it, the call was to decide like the, the name and the meaning of the EP and time. Yeah. So I consolidated it all, find a through line and then like you run with that to so, like press and, and wherever else. Um, and I, I had to just think of what the EP was about, what I was, what I was going to name it and, and what it was going to mean to me. Um, and I kind of realized that the past like year and a half or so since Teenage Fever, I've been living so much in the present and just like taking things day at a time, working on myself, working mm -hmm. on uh, music and everything else, uh, school. And, um, and that was kind of just my life for that. And I was, I was just super living in the moment. And, and to me, it, the songs on the EP were almost like a timeline uh, of, of that year and a half. So um, that last bit of development that's, that has happened before I turn 18 and I'm no longer a, a legal child, <laughs> I, you know, I might feel like one, um, is, uh, is, is a great story. And uh, so that's what I wanted to consolidate it as. I love it. All right, let's talk about the holidays. Literally, they're right around the corner. I saw you just got a Christmas tree. I did, I did. That's exciting. Did you decorate it or did you just pick it no, up? No, no, no. It's, it's still outside. Um, <laughs> it's huge, though. It's like 12 feet or no, 10 feet big. That's huge. It's massive. I, I don't know how I'm going to carry it. Okay, that's fine. Please record yourself trying to attempt that. Um, I will. <laughs> do you have any uh, holiday traditions or certain movies that you love watching every year? Oh, The Polar Express is just <laughs> the most unreal movie ever. It's beautiful. It's just, it's so beautiful. I thought that they were real for like most of my childhood, <laughs> like the kids in it. The animation's so real. good, I know. It's so good. I I remember like like looking at it like this, like when I was like like seven, eight, nine, ten. Like Yeah. Are they real? Um I know I honestly like the last time I watched it was so long ago, I don't even remember what it's about. All I know is there's a train and uh they like there's and they drift on the ice, and I always yeah. thought that was sick. It was like it was like the first Tokyo drift. Yeah, <laughs> Polar Express style. Yeah, um, so, it's a pretty cool. So you said you have like so many people in your house. Like, how many siblings are going on right now in your house? All of them. Um, oh. <laughs> I have uh, three siblings, two parents, and two little dogs. That's uh, so I have a lot of Christmas presents to buy. <laughs> I'm not too thrilled about. So you haven't started Christmas shopping yet. No, I'm, I'm a last minute kind of guy. <laughs> Me too. I am too. That's exciting. So are the plans this year just going to be just your immediate family, just kind of relaxing with everyone? Um, yeah, the Christmas party canceled, of course, uh, as it should. And um, obviously not going to, to LA or anything like that. So I think it's just going to be a, a watch movies and uh I don't know, play in the snow. I haven't, yeah, <laughs> I haven't had Christmas in Toronto for like five years. So this is this is crazy. No way. Well, it just snowed today. It snowed so much. I know. Today. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Oh, it looks Look. so good. Oh, nice backyard. Um, Thank well, you. thanks so much for uh, chatting with us. Um, so exciting. People can watch, you know, all throughout Canada can watch um, your concert tonight. That's exciting. And thanks for picking up your phone. All of a sudden the sound went off. So it's great. <laughs> of course, of course. And thank you so much for having me. Yeah, no um, It's very nice to talk to you and everybody in the comments as well. Uh, and yeah, Canadian show tonight if you're in Canada. Let's go. Woo. All right. See you later. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah, you too.